It's Tuesday, the 7th of April. It's lunchtime. I'm waiting to see if I can interest people to come in for a movement snack. If you've picked this up on YouTube, you might want to scroll through the next four and a bit minutes. This is the preamble. We're open, here they come. We're open for business. Open for movement snacking. So yeah, sorry, if you're watching this on YouTube, this is our preamble, our, uh, our kind of community banter that's started to develop. It's the countdown, it's the four and a bit minute countdown to start the movement snack. You can either enjoy it or not, this preamble, or maybe scoot forward for the point that I say, good afternoon, my name is. But for now, for now, uh, I'm going to focus on this live bit and uh, have a look at people joining us from Shrewsbury, from Portsmouth, from Northumberland, from Scotland, Cree and Larrick. Gosport, sorry, Gosport, not Portsmouth. Is that a bit like Portsmouth and Southampton? Hello, George. I never know what to expect from the lunchtime snack because you know you're in your day doing things, other other stuff to do. The sun's out. Hello from Cornwall. Um, but sure enough, in this next kind of three minutes and the ten and a bit minutes that follows, the lunchtime snackers are are still out there. The lunchtime posse, the lunchtime movement posse. So come on, Italy's arrived. Hello, Italy. Lancashire, Lancashire's in. Yeah, room for Lancashire. And uh, we're on a, a less than a three minute warning to get going on the movement. I'm still on my knees for you on these little bits. My own hip mobility is uh, vastly improved since these lives. How's your morning been? How was the morning mobility snack? Did you crowbar in any more stuff? What's brought you to this lunchtime movement snack? Is there nothing on the telly? Or is it raining? Wales is in. Maddie, I'm not sure where you're from. What part of the world are you, Maddie? And Margaret. Alison. Alison, is that a virtual hug? We could turn that into a bit of an upper back stretch. Backley. Backley's in. More Wales. Portelbet. Portelbet. It's my Welsh, isn't it? Got some Clinetley in there in the room as well, I think. Michelle. I'm not going to do Ireland. I can't do accents, but hello, Ireland. Okay, 30 second warning and we're going to go. I'm going to go. I'm going to stay and we're going to move. Dagenham. Thank you, Maddie. Dagenham is in. Uh, London is in. Ipswich. Thank you, Margaret. Nearly late been gardening. Okay, stand up a bit straighter, Chris. You know what your back's like. All right, enough. This is it. If you're on YouTube, this is the bit that you can get to now where we can get going. Good afternoon, my name is Bex Townley from Later Life Training. It's Tuesday the 7th of April and this is the lunchtime movement snack. So this is our second 10 minutes of movement. So we've already done 10 this morning, so we're accumulating minutes across the week. Now, because we've had quite an influx of new members um, and it's the beginning of the week, I thought it's a good time to do um, another pit stop, another progress check or a start point check. 
So, as part of the movement snack, we're going to do the, the chair rise, the 30 second chair rise, in a moment as part of the snack. But first, we're going to do our usual circulation boosting for a bit. Get you ready, get you moving, prepared for that progress check. So, please select your position, stand or sit. Um, and as you can see, because we're going to be doing some, some more dynamic moving work today as part of the snap and some functional reaching, I've pitched up at a wall and a steady support. Circ boost first then, standing upright posture, a little bit upright, a bit more straighter than you normally would, and the same in the chair. Hip walk forward, this makes it easy to stand and move. Plant the fleet, feet, anchor the buttocks, Sit up tall, stand up tall wherever you are, and let's start the circ boost. So in seated and in standing, we're looking to focus on ankles, to optimize ankle, feet, toe movement. That's really the focus. Most importantly, I just want you to move. Just start to move, and then see if you glance down, can you get more work out of the ankles? Keep going that on seated, and the same in stand. So we have this steady pace, just steady, transferring the weight, using the support if you need to, at whatever point, and really try to get the feet going, and a bit more foot action. As and when you feel confident and ready, just bring in a steady arm action from the shoulder, two arms alternating or one at a time and in seated it's the same if it feels like a little bit too much coordination to do arms and legs at the same time that's okay take a pause lift and open let's mobilize the upper body or you can take the hands joint to guide that back it does what it says on the tin it boosts the circulation gets us ready for this movement snap and just generally just draws a line under whatever you've been doing this morning to go <sighs> okay i'm in the snack i'm good all right so um just before we move into the chair rise progress check uh just a little bit more work on this shoulder mobility lift up back and down let's just really set and get the posture Get the trunk ready for this sit to stand. Lift back and down, lift back and down. Take your time. Quality is the focus. If that full roll isn't right for you, just lift and press all the way down. Take the time to finish off the job. Rest and pause after each one. And then go again. Okay. Little bit more on ankle mobility. So in sit. Uh, all the way back into the chair, lift the foot and just take some few extra ankle forward and back. Same on the other leg, one, three or five. In standing, take up some support. Lift taller than you normally would. Get balanced on that inside leg there and then just really try to. Even more ankle range here and the same on the other leg. Have a look if you need to, if that helps. Look ahead if you can. It's optimise, optimise and find and improve ankle range. Just before we get going in standing, let's just park the feet for some balance and let's just try a little bit more lifted drive through the arms, alternating if you want to, if you keep hands on for support if that helps. And a little bit more in seated. And then we're going to take a pause. All right. So we're going to do this progress check. For those of you that have been with us a while, I think this is the third time you've done this. So it's either your start point for, for functional leg, leg strength, as it were, or it's a progress check to what you've done before. I'm going to show you the two options. Please choose which option you would prefer. The full, option, the full chair eyes option is this. Backside slightly forward, heels back and down. If you prefer a little bit of external support just to help with balance, that's okay. It's strength we're after for this one. I'm going to power up to stand, get my balance and just sit down with control and try to go again. Sit down with control and try to go again is the standing option. If full stand isn't right for you today, or you're not ready for that, 
Your option please is a jockey lift and down and switch off. A jockey lift and down and switch off. So well, however far you can get your buttocks off the chair, that's your movement. I'm going to give you 30 seconds and you're going to count how many of these you can do in 30 seconds. Don't compromise technique and quality. It should feel comfortable, it should feel safe. Don't go racing off, okay? So pick which one you would like to do, please. And we're all going to start together. And there's 30 seconds on the clock. Are you ready to count? 30 seconds starts now. Okay, counting. Keep thinking about your posture. Keep thinking about standing all the way up, quality movement. Sit down with control, but not too slow. Keep it going if you can. See how many we can go. Maintain your normal breathing. Keep the heels down on the floor at all times. Two, one, time. Okay, however many you did, Jot that down with the date. Check back on your progress a bit later. For now, we're going to keep going. Okay, good. So that serves as a progress check and doing things, checking progress, majorly supports motivation in the shorter and the longer term. So quite often we forget where we've come from, how much we've improved. So these, these physical checks really help to support us to continue. All right, legs done. I'd like, well, whilst we've got the legs warm and ready, we're gonna move on to some more lower leg work with a little bit more balance, with a little bit more functional reach. Before we do that, please, could we just try some extra shoulder range? Can you get to the ear, top of the head, or back of the head? Just work your way through a couple of those from the ear, head, how far can you go? Whatever point you're happy with, that's your range. And just take some controlled movements just to get the shoulders a little bit more prepared. Okay, good. So make sure those. Here is the options. Here's the standing option. Using a wall for support or a solid surface for support. I'll show you both. Feet are hip width. We're going to take a knee bend, a stand, a heel raise, and a reach, and a come down. A little knee bend, this is small, stand, reach, and down. Or it could be on the support here. Now the reach doesn't have to go up. If, there's, if that's not right for your shoulders, you could reach forwards, for example. In the chair, please, we have Heel raise comes up and then reach up through the side and then the heels and the arm goes down. Again, if that's not right for your shoulders today, you can reach out, but when you reach out, you add this little bit of a squeeze. This may mean you want to keep the heels down because that changes the balance in the chair. So feet flat, reach forward and out. How far can we get with those arms? So that's your functional reach in the chair. As you squeeze and reach forward, squeeze your buttocks a little bit more. That really helps to anchor you into the floor. So keep your heels down. If you want to reach up, your heels can come up. If you want to reach forward, your heels really want to stay down. How are we doing on this one? So we have a bend, heels, reach and down or in the chair heels reach and down or in the chair heels stay down reach forwards and out and forwards and out okay last set of please in standing hands on the wall for balance a really deliberate sideways step Sideways step, ball of the foot first through the heel. Ball of the foot first through the heel. And you've got all this support to help you to feel more confident. Seated, sideways step. 
hips up and places down. All about the feet and the ankles, lift and lower. Lift and lower. Good, to the side, to the side. Okay, wow. We cram loads in. Just before we go, just a little bit of a chest stretch if you'd like, in seated. Hands slide round to the side, squeeze there, or leave hands behind. If you're in stand and you want to go for the extra squeeze, the hands here. Or you might want to have your hips on the, on the, the wall. And just open the chest, just squeeze back. The wall offers loads of stability and confidence. Okay, good. I think we're done. That was like a like a mega movement slack. We did some circ boost. We reviewed a bit of mobility to prepare for the chair rights, function strengthening legs, or the jockey lift, which is the prepar uh, the preparation movement to get out of the chair. We did some knee bends, some heel raises, some functional reach, upwards or forwards, all in chair or sit. Ten minutes in the movement bag. That's 20 minutes accumulated today. Remember the name of the game is accumulation. Accumulating gains over time. So we've got the benefits now in this movement and the rest of the day, but we're trying to get in these little movement snacks so that we can accumulate over time. Thank you very much. We're holding steady on this lunchtime snack. I'm still grabbing you in from the sun and the weather. Have a lovely afternoon. Oh, I've just been told by Dawn, we've done 47 of these live sessions. 90 planned, brackets. I think we all know we can't stop this on the 20th of April. It's gone too far. So we're currently planning phase two, but don't tell anyone. Thank you very much. It's just absolutely awesome overused word but it really is incredible to see you all joining keep moving keep telling us how you're feeling what's happening what's going on with this stuff majorly supports us and it majorly supports everyone else watching thank you very much see you at four